In the end, the decision to strip Bilbao of Euro 2020 hosting rights came down to one thing. The fact that their $250 million San Manes Stadium could only hold matches looking like this instead of this. UEFA had told the 12 original host cities that they had to confirm that at least 25% of their stadium capacity could be filled for the group games. That was a promise Bilbao could not keep due to the coronavirus restrictions currently in force in the Basque region. It was due to host four games, including all of Spain's group matches. They will now be played in Sevilla. La verdad es que para Bilbao ha sido una decepción muy grande el no ser sede finalmente de la Eurocopa porque había muchas ilusiones puestas, era un sueño convertido en realidad por el que las instituciones vascas han estado eh, bueno, pues, eh, peleando y trabajando ¿no? desde 2014, que es cuando se firmó el contrato con la UEFA y es una gran decepción para Bilbao, para Vizcaya y para todo Euskadi que finalmente San Mamés no sea una de las sedes de la Eurocopa. The Bilbao organizers have threatened legal action and are demanding compensation from UEFA, having seen six years of preparation count for nothing. Lo que está claro es que la exigencia de que hubiese público en las gradas de Samamés eh, no figuraba en los contratos. La UEFA ha roto unilateralmente el acuerdo que tenía con las instituciones vascas y, hombre, eh, es lógico que, que se pida una compensación. En todo caso, eh, bueno, yo diría que el daño ya está hecho. For their part, the Basque regional government said there was no possibility of relaxing restrictions on public gatherings in time for the June kickoff. The area is currently in the grip of a fourth wave of the pandemic, and while hosting Euro 2020 would have brought undoubted economic benefits, the health considerations were the priority. Bilbao was joined by Dublin, another city that was dropped as a host, losing its three matches and leaving Euro 2020 with 10 venues for the month-long event. Well, it's certainly been a tumultuous week for UEFA. Firstly, they saw off the challenge of the breakaway European Super League, although Barcelona and Real Madrid insist that the project is not dead. They then flexed their muscles by dropping Bilbao and Dublin as Euro 2020 hosts, insisting that having fans in the stadium was non-negotiable. But it remains to be seen whether those fans will want to travel to the 10 remaining host cities this summer, with the pandemic in Europe showing no signs of abating. Rahul Pathak, CGTN, Madrid.